Hi, I'm Diogo Scucci and welcome to this week Tech Tuesday. Today we are going to talk about one of the most uncertain subjects in sound design systems, the voice lift. But before we start, let's establish the difference between voice lift and sound reinforcement. It is important to distinguish between voice lift and sound reinforcement, sometimes known as PA. PA systems are designed to amplify sound, including voice, to levels that can be understood in noise environments and at a great distance from the loudspeakers. On the other hand, a voice lift system simply seeks to restore someone's natural levels of the speech to listeners located in the furthest point of the rooms as if they were sitting next to you. Naturally, speech levels decay over the distance. In a voice lift system, we can compensate these losses, making it possible to clearly hear the distant person speaking without even realizing that the system is on. The goal is to provide the minimal level of gain to provide speech clarity and intelligibility. Here at Audiologic, we deal with these techniques to help our customers to design systems that are appropriate for their applications. Now that we know the primary difference between voice lift and sound reinforcement, it's time to understand where your room is eligible for a voice lift system or not. The best way to calculate this is by using a potential acoustic gain and needed acoustic gain, most known as a PAG and NAG. PAG NAG is a concept that can be used to determine if a sound reinforcement system can be produce enough gain to provide optimal listening experience before causing any feedback. NAG refers to the amount of gain required for the furthest listeners from the audio source to hear as clear as the closest listener. If PAG is greater than NAG, a system will operate without feedback. If PEG is less than NAG, a system will suffer from feedback before providing an optimal listening experience. Both PEG and NAG are determined by logarithmic math, which can be quite complicated for some people. But don't worry, our partner Sure have got a really nice tool where you can calculate this just using some information such as the size of the room, the distance of the loudspeakers from the microphone, the distance of the presenter from the mic, and the number of open microphones. Particular attention needs to be paid when you're considering the room type and the environment, as the acoustic of the room play as a major role when you're determining the actual application of this equation. Generally, Voice lift is an insuitable for small rooms or attempting to compensate very noise rooms. The background noise level in the room ideally should be less than 45 dBA. Also, it should be noted that vocal reinforcement will not be beneficial in a space where the speech cannot be understood already due to excessive reverberation. A key point, if a listener located on one side of the room can clearly understand what the person on the other side of the room is saying, that space does not need a voice lift at all. Excessive noise generated by ventilation systems, corridor movements, electronic equipment or other source, sometimes combined with reflective surface such as glass walls, can create conditions in which relatively small rooms may appear to need vocal reinforcement. However, the solution for these environments would be to control noise issues and apply the right acoustic treatment. Attempted to implement a voice lift systems in these rooms with these conditions would probably not work. So, having considered these points, if the room is eligible for a voice lift system, the next step is look at zoning the speakers within the room. In order to obtain adequate levels for the voice lift, the signal from the microphone should be reproduced only through the speakers that are located at the most distant point from it. And to achieve that, we use different zones in the room. 
allowing us to route these signals. In summary, if you need any help to decide where your project is suitable or not for voice lift, feel free to get in touch with me or anyone else in the team. That's it for now. See you next time.